It is that time of year again. Lord Stanley's been handed over and hockey teams are looking to replenish the troops. The National Hockey League draft begins tonight here in Chicago. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live with more on how the NHL higher-ups kicked off their windy city visit. Hi, Lauren. Hi there, Aaron. Well, we are two blocks from the United Center, standing in front of what will eventually be the brand new $65 million practice facility for the Chicago Blackhawks. This morning, the team invited us and the NHL commissioner in for a sneak peek. The privately funded arena is meant for both the Hawks and visiting teams. It's 125,000 square feet and should be open by December of this year. Blackhawks reps say 94% of the arena's use will actually be used by the community. It's why developers are building a whole second rink that'll be used by youth hockey programs, high schoolers, and rec leagues. Commissioner Gary Bettman spoke about the importance of making this facility about more than Chicago's team. We focus on in hockey is the values and attributes attendant to our game. Physical fitness, hard work, teamwork, leadership, all skills that are important to young people. And if this facility helps the young people in this community absorb and, and achieve those values, then this is a success that rivals as many Stanley Cups as can be brought back to Chicago. Of course, the commissioner's visit coincides with tonight's 2017 NHL draft. The Blackhawks are hosting a free fan fest at parking lot C at the United Center. That starts today at 3 and will feature a 53-foot truck filled with Blackhawks history, photo ops with the Stanley Cup, live music, and more. The draft runs two days through tomorrow, and this is actually Chicago's first time hosting it in the NHL's 100-year history. Reporting live on the Near West Side, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Aaron. Special events. All right, Lauren, thank you. Thank you.